Hi, this is Washington DC photographer Tim Coburn. You can check me out at timcoburnphotography.com and today I'm going to teach you how to photograph medical records. One of the first things you're going to want to do is turn the flash off on your camera. You don't want to use the flash when you're shooting medical records. The reason for this is it usually causes glare, it blasts out the light, it becomes way too bright. The other thing you don't want to do is shoot in direct sunlight. This is going to cause harsh shadows on your document and be difficult to expose. The best place to shoot is in the shade. You can either go inside your house near a window, shoot, choose a shady spot there, or you can go outside and choose a shady spot there. The key thing when you're shooting with shade is make sure that you shoot in solid shade, not under a tree because sometimes you can get patches of light that show through. So maybe on the shady side of your house is probably a better spot. When you're shooting your medical records, you're going to want to use a tripod if you can. If you don't have a tripod, try and set your shutter speed to at least 350. The reason for this is when you're shooting and you're leaning forward and you're taking your photo, you're going to get a little camera shake and you want your document to be as crisp as possible. Now today, we're actually going to photograph a record. This is actually a W9 tax form that we're going to use in place of a medical record. So basically, you just place your record, line up your camera, directly over the document. You're going to want the back of your camera, which is the plane of your sensor, to be perfectly parallel with your document. Once you get that set up, you're going to want to set your camera settings. Like I said, if you're hand holding, try 350 shutter speed. For your aperture, you're going to want the sharpest photo possible. And this is going to be f8. This is going to give you full crispness all around the edges of your photo. So zoom your lens as much as you can right into the document so it fills the space. Set your timer on your camera. Set it to maybe 10 seconds, 5 seconds, whatever you want. The reason is because you're going to want your camera to be as still as possible. And when you're holding it and shooting it like this, you get a little bit of camera shake. So set your camera and your timer will automatically take the photo without you having to touch it. Just like that. The other thing you want to do is take several shots. Don't take just one. This will ensure that you get the perfect shot. Again, this is Tim Coburn with timcoburnphoto.com and today I taught you how to shoot medical records.